sometimes I question it myself, but you got to push yourself to the limit. That's what life's about. I, I get more satisfaction out of this than I do laying on the beach because it's easy to quit. And it's really easy to quit. I don't want to quit. People often ask me, why do you put yourself through this? Are the benefits worth the risk? Why do you take life? Is it ego driven? Why Pakistan? The answers to these questions are infinitely complex. Hopefully, by seeing this journey through my mind's eye, with my thoughts, you will better understand the answers to these questions as I pursue my philosophy. Life is not a dress rehearsal. My aspirations for this trip were exceeded only by the experience. As I look back on the rich tapestry of the people and the culture of Pakistan, the mountains and the wildlife, I am in awe that I have had the privilege to pursue this passion. We have journeyed from the Sin Desert, through the Punjab region, to the mighty Himalayas all the while contributing to the conservation of the animals we pursue and helping those who watch over them, as well as creating new friendships with hunters in a region much maligned. Well, we've just arrived in Karachi making a mad dash to get to the hunting area. Not supposed to film here at Karachi International, but doing it anyway. Josh had to sit here and put together all of his camera gear on the floor so he can get running and gunning. So we're off to have a great time in Pakistan. Um, can't imagine the greeting we had and how we were received. Didn't have to go through customs per se, and we didn't have to go through immigration. It's just, they've, they've got us well taken care of. Looking forward to it. It's been almost a year to the day where I was leaning over the hood of a truck looking at sheep in Sonora and here I am in uh, the Sindh province of Pakistan I'm looking for a Sindh Ibex. It's a bit of a deja vu moment. 
must say I never envisioned that I would be hunting in Pakistan. But I'm awfully glad that I am. You know, it promises to be a really good adventure. And I think it's going to be culturally rich. And if we're lucky, it'll be wildlife rich. Mom. The mixture of the people and the terrain excite me by reminding me of my youth in Iran. The plan is that uh, we'll all go. They saw the ibex on that side, so but there's so much fog this morning, so they haven't started looking. They didn't want to end up spooking the trophies. Right. So we'll all go uh, drive a bit closer and. Uh, as soon as the fog clears a little, two or three people will go find them out again. Okay. We'll spot them. If they're any good, we'll conduct a stalk or whatever. Sounds good. Uh, if it's no good, we go back home and yep. continue hunting. Pakistan demonstrated to me the direct impact that hunting has on the conservation of animals. The community benefits directly, so they preserve and protect the animals. As a result, the country has become a mountain hunter's dream destination, and populations are ever increasing. These animals compete with livestock, and without the value ascribed by hunters, their numbers would diminish. I am a willing participant in this conservation effort. My recurring nightmare on such a journey is that after all that goes into such a trip, that I will somehow miss an opportunity. The stress created by the time invested mounts. Doubt creeps in. Anxiety clouds judgment. Without persistence and experience, negative energy can and will destroy you. And yet, opportunity strikes quickly. Wisdom comes walking here every day. She calls to the corners. I shift and I sway just to then hide my face. And go back to counting my silver. I lost him. I lost him. They're behind that ridge. The one in the front. Okay. Okay, I can just see their horns. I see the second set of horns. I'm going to take him when he stops.
obvious satisfaction, I know that for the sinned, we have played our part. We took a mature billy with a deformed hind leg. We benefited the community. Now we move on to the salt range of the Punjab region. seems like we've been in driving and, and flying for an interminable period of time. We um, are in the Punjab region. We're here on the Indus River. You might look at this and think it's a lake, but in reality it's a river coming down from the Himalayas and it splits the country in half and goes all the way out to the Arabian Gulf. But Danish has arranged for us to stay in this house. It belongs to a friend of his. The house was built originally in the 30s. Stayed in the same family for 85 years, 86 years. The house is a guest house that's seen such people as Jackie Kennedy. It's seen the Shah of Iran. It's seen Prince Philip, Queen Elizabeth stay here as they made state visits to Pakistan. And the one thing you, you have a hard time grasping is Pakistan's role or place in the world. It's not filled with terrorists and it's not filled with you know, crazy people that's portrayed. Yeah, you know, there's crazy people here, there's crazy people everywhere, but they're definitely not here. The hospitality and generosity that they've shown us so far has been amazing. And this house is a great indicator of that. I mean, the, the people that you've seen come here and, and the people that work here today, I mean, you couldn't ask for nicer people. I've been all over the world. And this is as nice as it gets. Hunting the Punjab, like all hunts, involved a team, spotters, game scouts, porters, hunter, cameraman, outfitter, all with their distinct role in this effort, all having a great time enjoying the majesty of the mountains, which are frozen in the moment.
I'm reminded of a saying from Dickens, A Tale of Two Cities. It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. The hunt was filled with excitement, doubt, frustration, elation. When a mature animal was finally harvested, negative energy from an earlier miss was replaced with satisfaction and relief. The Punjab has provided opportunity, a beautiful, mature ram, new friends, rich history, perspective, our understanding of Pakistan grows. We are off on the Southern Silk Route, the Karakoram Highway, the same route taken by Marco Polo hundreds of years earlier, to the rooftop of the world, the Himalayas. Along the way, we cross the intersection of the Himalayas, the Hindu Kush, and the Karakorams. This intersection is not unlike the intersection of cultures of this region. We're here in Basham, which is um, just up from Abbottabad. We drove up from Islamabad to Abbottabad, we're in Basham. We're stuck here tonight along with a whole bunch of people because there's a landslide along the way. And uh, we're trying to get to Gilgit and uh, that's where we're gonna hunt these Himalayan ibex. So hopefully in the morning we can get up here, get our permits and get hunting. You know, it's amazing place to be. And that's all I can say. It's cold as hell, but it's an amazing place to be. Started climbing today at about five. Went around onto another valley to see some billies they had pre-scouted. We got there a couple hours after climbing and set up and looked at each one of them, evaluated them. They're just too young or just not big enough. And so we made a move and climbed another four hours out of that valley and up into this valley and now they're out spotting for billies apparently this one this valley has much bigger billies we'll see i mean these are these are days that really test your your metal you wonder why it is you do the sheep hunting you ask yourself why i'm not laying on the beach somewhere and i know everybody else wonders why the hell i don't do it sometimes i question it myself but you gotta push yourself to the limit that's what life's about I get more satisfaction out of this than I do laying on the beach because it's easy to quit. And it's really easy to quit. I don't want to quit. The whispers in my head tell me I'm not the most sure-footed or fit. When exhaustion comes and doubt creeps in, I think of why I'm here. And while I don't know them, my efforts are giving back to the community. The children derive health care and education. People get food. Hunting is a selfish pursuit, wreaking havoc on those waiting at home, often with no work. The results totally unselfish. I do this for success, not measured in inches, but by overcoming the temptation to shoot a young animal and to achieve with my body what the voices in my mind tell me I cannot do.
heading over across the glacier. They've spotted a couple of billies. One of them has a really black body and a white saddle. These guys are the greatest guys in the world. I mean, they help you when nobody else would help you and you need it up here, trust me. Back behind us, we have an Ibex bedded down at about 300 yards. We're just waiting for him to make a move so we can have a shot. planning, the anxiety, the stress, the pain, the doubt, have come together as a trip of a lifetime or two. I better understand Pakistan, Pure Land, and her people. I love her mountains and her wildlife. I am leaving it the better for my having been here. I have taken life to preserve life for future generations. I am a hunter. The risks were minimal, the rewards endless. I came a stranger, I leave a friend, saddened by my need to return home, but excited about the prospects of returning. Knowing that if life is no dress rehearsal, then surely we have fully embraced it. Yeah.